the big daddy music please we shall not be moved Mums and 
God's favorite, we shall not be moved. Big time! It's Chuck Fowler from Sheffield, the deaf and dumb wrestling star, Alan Kelly. So once again, Grapple fans, it's tag team time. Big Daddy and Al Kilby, the deaf and dumb boy from Sheffield, and their opponents, Giant Haystacks from Salford and Wild Angus, for, formerly from Scotland, now residing in Manchester. Wild Angus there in the leotard, the smaller of the two, but he's a big man. 19 and a half stone, Wild Angus, but this man is 30, 35 stone too. So there's a lot of weight in that ring right now. There's the kangaroo kid with his back to us there, selling Big Daddy off for some reason. He's the manager of the two on the right, just saying, saying it cool. Yes, he's having something more to say to Big Daddy. Kangaroo kid, a wrestler in his own right, of course, now managing the tag team on the right. The bell has gone to start the first session of a 30 minutes tag. And as usual, Haystacks get out of the ring because he saw that Big Daddy was in. So it's Daddy versus Wild Angus at the start of this 30 minutes tag. Two falls, two submissions, two knockouts, two disqualifications to decide the winners here. And Max Ward's got an enviable task here in handling the size of men. Already the arguments is time. The man on the tag rope at the right-hand corner there, the right-hand side of your screen, will not meet Big Daddy solo at all, and Big Daddy, of course, is waiting to get him. He'll get him one day. <laughs> Wild Angus, sir. Very strong man. He wants his partner to come in already. He wants to tag, but the big man doesn't want to know doesn't want to know. So, Big Daddy lets in Al Kilby, the Sheffield wrestler, who's had a lot of trouble with his left knee, with cartilage trouble, in fact, he's had an operation on it, and he probably shouldn't uh, even be wrestling right here today. But knowing him, he can hardly wait to get back in the ring after a little injury trouble, as he calls it. And he finally comes in against the biggest man in the British ring today. That big daddy switched on him. Yes. Yeah. Well, the rope would go first, I should think. 35 and a half stone with big daddy at 24 and a half million. Still shouting at him, but he won't come back in, I don't think. Not for quite a while. He's got to something, he's got to continue the bow. Wild Angus back in against Big Daddy. He walks straight into a backdrop. And a splash. All the way down. Angus in trouble from a splash on the first ball to Big Daddy over Angus. Just two and a half minutes into the tag, and it's the first one to Big Daddy over Angus. <laughs> well, don't don't forget they won't go on until you get back. We won't be away for long. Stay with us.
seconds away for the second session. continue with Big Daddy but he's he's come back now and they're tagged so it's Wild Angus versus Kilby kind of trying to go in and do his part in this tag contest for his uh, part and he's doing pretty well considering the weight he's giving away and they have 14 stone 11 Kilby going in fast on that arm Holding it dead straight against the joint. Come on, come on now. Lots of encouragement from his corner. Kilby. Come on, come on, Alan. Come on, son. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Need the hand, says the referee. He was positioned. Look to that guy, see the name. Walks into that. Perfectly legal move. Kirby walked right into it. And it's Angus looking over. He's taking over a bit now. Come on, come on, come on. And still Angus going in a public warning for that. The referee gives his first public warning to Ryan Angus and John Haystein. And in the meantime, the referee is talking to Big Daddy in his corner. Angus is going ahead against Kilby. One public warning against him. And a tag. Yes, in comes Giant Haystacks now because Kilby's in, but Big Daddy's in too. And Daddy's got to get out. He hasn't been tagged. He really is an enormous fellow, this. Kilby's got anybody to have trouble against this fellow. Way over double his weight. Way over double. And Kilby in trouble. And as long as Haystacks keeps him away from his own corner, he won't be able to take Daddy. And he's going across on a splash, very slow one, but he's in. He gets a fall. And the equalizer in just under six minutes and it's Haystacks going ahead on the on the uh, leg of uh, Kilby there after getting that equalizing four Haystacks goes for the leg that he's had trouble with cartilage with and Kilby's in trouble Kilby really in trouble So following on that leg, quite right too. Never mind disqualification. He's Jackson, me, Morton, you and me, you and me. Let's fight to the finish. And you and me, come on, he's Let's see what you can do. Well, he's been oh, trying to get him solo for a long time. No tag match. You and me on our own. No tag, just a solo wrestling. That's what everybody wants to see. That's all we want. That's what we want to know. Will Big Daddy turn up? That's what we want to know. Will Big Daddy turn up? <laughs> just make sure you're there. And make sure he's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. So it's a win for the Big Daddy team, but he'll be in trouble on the deck still. Excuse me, but is there a stretcher? Please. Thank you. Thank you.
Well, folks, I'm sure many of you saw on TV not so long ago, Alan Kilby is actually on crutches now. That was only three weeks ago. And I think you'll agree with me that when Ace Stacks dropped across his poor leg, I think that was an absolute liberty, as only a giant like that could do. I'm going to ask you once again for a round of applause for a gallant wrestler, Alan Kelvin. And his brain knows that, Alan Kilbey, a great fighter, a lot of art, he deserves a really great man. Let's hear it, everybody. Thank you. Fire tonight. The winners, Big Daddy and Alan Kelby. Thank you.